Hello everybody. I am Professor Imran. Today we are going to learn a practical on proportional integral derivative controller. Well, we are going to use PID controller to control the temperature. So what you see right in front of you now is the PID kit that is a proportional integral and derivative kit. Along with that, we have a temperature control unit. In this case, we are using these lamps 1, 2 and 3. these are the three lamps which will generate the temperature and in order to sense the temperature we have a pt100 rtd which is connected to this kit over here having said that in order to set the temperature we have the set temperature knob and to adjust the gain proportional gain integral gain and derivative gain we have three knobs all right so without much ado let's start with it so we'll quickly start the kit and let's start with the practical to do that i will uh, turn on the switch there's one more switch now before we turn on the different terminals as i said so there's a on and off knob here i'll have to push this into start position and this into mode check the moment i put that in mode check it will show us proportional gain integral gain and derivative gain now as in when i do that you'll find that these lamps are on why because the ambient temperature is 29 and the set temperature is above that so you'll find that the temperature starts because of this lamps being on the temperature will start increasing and as in when it reaches the set temperature the lights will turn off so let's have a look at it so here we go so that's let me put that in the mode check so in the mode check right now it shows me uh, the proportional gain integral gain and derivative gain right so now i'll start the kit so there it is the kit is on i'll put it in the normal mode and as you see the ambient temperature is 30 and the set temperature is 46.8 so because of that the lamp will keep on turning on till the ambient temperature that is the actual temperature 80 will keep on increasing till 46 till it crosses 46 let's see if that is happening if you could see we started with the actual temperature of 29 degree and now it has already raised to 31.6 now it is 32.1 so this will go on till it reaches 46 degree if you could see the actual temperature rising it has become 32.5 we started off at 29 so as and when that uh, this is happening let me just quickly tell you why are we do performing this experiment well in industries we come across proportional integral and derivative controller the main role of this controller is since it is a continuous controller there are situations there are process wherein we need to continuously monitor the error and control the error so in that case we need continuous controllers so one such very important continuous controller is proportional integral and derivative controller wherein if you use a proportional derivative controller though it is a continuous controller the control action is not accurate moreover it always keeps an offset error when you switch to proportional integral error so the control action is comparatively more accurate when you compare it with proportional derivative controller however the problem with proportional integral controller is if there is a sudden change in the set point or to be more precise if there is a sudden change in the error your proportional integral controller does not take care of that error on the contrary if you take proportional integral and derivative controller it takes care of every possible conditions what does it mean the proportional integral derivative controller is faster it makes sure that there is no residual voltage or offset at the same time it makes sure that the output is error free and that's the reason we opt for proportional integral and derivative controller so now in this case what we can change is we can change the potential gain a proportional gain the integral gain and derivative gain we can keep changing the gain till the time we get more closer to the set temperature 
it may so happen that you may get the results but the results may not be accurate in order to get accurate results we need to keep on tuning the proportional gain integral gain and derivative gain values of proportional integral and derivative gain which gets us more closer to the set point or to the set temperature is called as the perfect values for your pid controller and the process of adjusting their gain is called as tuning of pid controller right now if you could see the proportional gain is set to 104 integral gain to 31 and derivative gain to 9 and after that we are taking reading so we started off with actual temperature at 39 and if you could see the actual temperature is now gone to 40.0 so the temperature is rising and we are having a look at it so this will go on till it reaches the set temperature that is 46.8 so by the time that is happening let me quickly tell you once again about this kit this is the knob to adjust your uh, set temperature this is to change your proportional gain this is to change your integral gain this is to change your derivative gain what are we going to do with this three knobs is we are going to continuously vary first we'll take the readings for one set of proportional integral and derivative gain if we feel that the readings are not closer to the set temperature we can adjust the readings of proportional integral and derivative gain and we got to do this continuously till we reach more and more closer to the set temperature the readings of proportional integral and derivative gain where we reach more closer to the set temperature are called as perfect readings for pid so right now the temperature is 42.0 once the temperature exceeds 46 degree you will find that the lamps will turn off completely for a longer time till the time the temperature falls below 46 degree so it's rising it has almost become now so the temperature has now become almost 43 the set temperature value is set high to 46.8 so it is going to take some time you got to be patient with it it is 43.3 now so it's getting closer 43.7 and the same experiment can be repeated for uh, pd and pi and we could take the readings uh, which would show us that pid controller is working far more faster compared to your pi controller or maybe pd controller the fastest of all the three controllers is pid the accurate of all the three controller is pid and this is the only controller which does not keep any kind of residual voltage or offset voltage so it has now come closer to the set temperature let's see what it happens once it crosses or exceeds 46.8 that's 45.3 so it's 45.7 now it's 46.2 now 46.4 46.6 And that's 46.8. Now we need to see what happens once it exceeds 46.8. So it has now become 47.3. Let's see how far it goes beyond 47.3. It will go up to a certain extent, and then again it will start falling down. So it is 47.5. Forty-seven point seven, and if you see, the lamp is off. Now this lamp will continue to remain off till the temperature falls below forty-six point eight. So once the temperature is below forty-six point eight, again the lamp will turn on. So let's wait for it. So look, the temperature has come down. It has become forty-seven from forty-seven point three. Now again. The temp. There you go. It has become 46.8, and the lamp is turned on again. So now again, the temperature will rise. So 
yes so the temperature is now again become 47 and it will keep on rising and after a certain time interval it will turn off so it is 47.3 now let's see what happens next I'm pretty sure the lamp will be off now till the time temperature again comes back to 46.8 so the lamp is off let's wait for it 47.7 so now the temperature will start dropping down so that's become low now it is 47.5 now it will again come down it will become 47.3 then it will become 47 then it will become 46.8 there you go 47.3 and once it becomes 46.8 again the lamp will turn on it will get heated there you go well friends so that's how you conclude proportional in 